Hi everyone, um, I'm doing this video to introduce you to the new support process for CME services and you'll notice on our website there is a menu item contact support and if you click on that um, it'll actually take you to the help desk uh, where there are some FAQs uh, that you can read through um, you're able to sign in if you've registered an account um, you can open a new ticket, you can check on ticket status um, and things like that but the simplest way of using the help desk is to actually just uh, send in an email to help desk at CME services so I've created a Gmail account, fictitious one uh, Simon says um, you will probably at some stage if you are going to be using the help desk uh, on a regular basis and especially if you have purchased an SLA plan with us um, you will um, either if you haven't already registered your own account you will uh, be registered via um, us on the help desk and you will then need to activate your account um, so I've actually been through the process already for this account <coughs> but I just wanted to make you aware of, of that when you activate the account it just asks you to create a password for it and then logs you in automatically so what we're going to do now is we're going to compose an email um, to help desk uh, at CME services and test support request number two please assist with um, website login issue okay and then we send it as soon as a um, consultant um, has responded you'll receive a response but you will also receive an automatic response that the ticket has been created with the ticket number a generic response basically so here we can now see in our inbox the automated reply has uh, arrived and we can see the ticket number the topic um, the subject of the support request and then there was also a an automatic response because we are we are either over a weekend or observing a public holiday um, but generally you won't see that uh, during working hours or working days in any case once the support consultant has responded to your request you will receive another email and you can then see um, what you know what the response entails so the issue has been resolved uh, you obviously then need to test and check that everything is working correctly and you can either reply via uh, the email reply to this or if you log in to um, the uh, help desk which I've done over here we can then see that the ticket is available um, and I can actually see how much time has been spent by the consultant on this ticket this is the total amount of time spent so currently there's only been one follow-up from the consultant on the support request so the total time spent is 15 minutes I'm able to um, open the support request and I can see uh, a full history of um, what's been going on here and here we can actually see that the time spent and um, what it was spent on basically um, and you're you're also able to then post a reply here uh, so you, you've got two ways of replying to a support request either via the help desk itself or using your email um, so yeah that's quite uh, quite useful what you will also see is if you hover over um, over something uh, you can actually uh, you can actually see more detail and um, if you click on the actual ticket yeah it takes you into the into the ticket itself okay so that's pretty straightforward um, a, a complete list of your tickets will be listed over here if you have open tickets and closed tickets uh, you will have a um, another tab over here or a link over here for closed tickets 
um, that you're also able to follow up on. Close tickets. If a ticket has been closed and you find that there's still an issue after it has been closed, you can simply just open that ticket, respond again at the bottom, and it reopens the ticket um, for further follow up. So that's pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's respond from here then. Um, thank you. I have tested the login. Sometimes the spelling is not uh, the strongest suit here. I can post the reply. And now we see that there's another response on the ticket after we've replied. And I've changed the status of the request to resolved. So we can go back into the support help desk. And we can, um, if we refresh tickets, we can actually see now we only have a closed ticket because it has been marked as resolved. And we can see now uh, the time spent has gone up to 20 minutes. So uh, another five minutes was billed for closing the support request. Okay, so we can actually see there. Um, and that's it. So this is uh, obviously a, an improved way of um, seeing, especially uh, when you're on an SLA agreement, um, seeing how much time has been spent on a support request and how that affects your your balance on your SLA agreement. Hope you found this useful. Thank you.